Hi Aquarius, with a weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius. Yes, now this could resonate with anyone who has Aquarius strongly in their chart. Uh, but it, the stray probably won't resonate with everyone. Um, hoping that there's something here that can help you on your way, though. Um, let's go ahead now, Aquarius, and look at this week to come for the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius for the next week. Aquarius for the next week. We have the Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Two of Swords. The Ace of Cups, Tower. Power, Seven of Swords, Hermit Energy, Five of Cups. All right, so now this is just for a week. We are going to be doing a comprehensive reading on this week. Um, and just a reminder that even though I might make these energies sound really dramatic, these, this is the only energy picture that I have that around all of these Aquariuses are all kinds of other stories too. So um, this could be, even though I could make it sound really dramatic, this could just be a small change that's happening to you this, this week. All right, Aquarius. Um, so I'm just, you know, realizing even for myself that sometimes um, I can get a little dramatic here, Aquarius. So uh, we have you uh, embodying the hermit and how Aquarius, uh, as you're moving into this week, there's something here that you really do truly know about yourself now, Aquarius. You have such a deep understanding of who you are and where you're going and how you've got to where you are, are at now. And I really do see um, you in a place of a heightened awareness of self, um, looking at life around you and really starting to see some brilliant moves to make as you're moving forward into the future. This is recognizing now um, the, the part that you play in life and um, coming into your own, into your own wisdom, into your own self, understanding the self. And, and it does bring a lot of, um, com I would say there's a deep confidence um, a deep confidence, Aquarius, that I'm feeling when I'm connecting in with the Hermit. And I do feel like there's a lot of strategizing here, too, um, as you're looking forward into the future. Um, how do you do this? How do you make this happen? What's the best way forward? There's a lot of self, um, self envisionment, that envis self envisioning that's happening. As you're moving into the week, there's something that you're quite busy on, Aquarius, and it, it could be something that you're doing at work or something that you're doing at home. It could involve another person, Aquarius. It could just be yourself, but it's something that you're working on that you realize has a lot of potential. It has a lot of potential to bring in betterment in life. And by betterment, I mean things that money can buy, things that money can help you to achieve. And so it is connected in with money. It is connected in with health and well-being because Three of Pentacles doesn't always have to be connected to money, but it, it is something that helps to improve daily life. It helps to improve uh, the life on earth that we have. So um, there's something here that's very much worth working on, very much worth thinking about. And I think that there's a willingness here uh, to really do what it takes to make make to make this work, Aquarius. Um, there, there is. This is all about love. This is about your partner. This is about your children. This is about everything that's very dear to you, Aquarius. That which you will never give up. That which you will never allow to be destroyed. That which you will protect with your being. That's how deep. Um, this is for you. It connects in with the heart center, um, and we have to know that this is, this is um, the Ace of Cups, which talks about some sort of strong rejuvenation within the heart space, which connects in with love. It connects in with romance. It connects in with uh, love of 
of children, um, love of grandchildren. It does something to the heart. It, it creates a movement within the heart. Uh, the heart moves, it grows, it strengthens, it brightens, it becomes strong and powerful that it can take the action it needs to take to protect whatever it's been nurturing. This is like the strength of the heart center. It's not just in love and romance, romance, but it's in the way that we care for it and the way that we feel fiercely connected to it. Uh, and, and the hermit rises up over the top of the Ace of Cups, over the top of the tower into the Six of Cups. And so whatever changes are happening, um, Aquarius, in this week, in the, these realizations and this acknowledgement and, and this strategy that's coming to mind is definitely connected to that which brings you comfort. It connects into that which stirs the heart, that which is family to you. Um, connected so very deeply to the soul. Um, that's what you, that's what you're thinking about. And that's what you're looking to accomplish in the future. Um, these, um, main priorities in life, you're connecting this work that you're doing, you're connecting it to those priorities and, um, really keeping those priorities in mind as you look forward here into something that brings you a lot of, um, worry is something here uh, that brings you quite a bit of worry, Aquarius, as you're looking forward into the future. Uh, I do I do believe, Aquarius, that there's something on your mind. There's something here that you're connecting to that is a, a big change for you, Aquarius. Something big, something exciting, um, something that puts you into a stream of action um, that has you beginning to... Um, uh, make changes based on everything that you've learned in the past. All right. So it's, it's like Aquarius, you're, you're, you've been set up now, um, Aquarius, you know, who you are, you knew, you know, who you love, right? You know, who is most important to you. You know, who your roots are, you know, who your soul family is, right? And you know how you want to move forward and what it is that you want to do. Um, but but there's something here in the future that's like looming ahead of you. And I don't want to say it's gloom because for some of you, it's excitement. For some of you, it's stepping into an unknown future of, of potential that is beyond your capacity, right? There's something here that's quite electrifying. Is it a big change? And will it bring change to family around you? You know, Aquarius, your potential here. You know your potential here. This is something that I know is a weekly reading, but there's something here that's going, that is an option for you or a way forward for you that's big and it will impact the people that love you. It will impact the people that love you. How do you want to bring this change in? How do you want to bring it here? There's something here that you know that it is there for you in the future. And how do you want to create it? How do you want to connect into it? First of all, Aquarius, I do feel like it feels big. It feels bright. It feels like more perhaps than, than you wish to even know about. That's what it feels like to me. But in your inner self, like you realize like it is the great connection. It is the great connection. Uh, and it seems wild and crazy. And I think that that's an electrifying awareness that you have about it. But the thing is, Aquarius, I think you're fairly tired at this point. You're tired and you're picky. I have to say, Aquarius, it's a pickiness. Picky. Like, yeah, you're going to be picking through it. You're, you're not going to be just accepting the first thing that comes your way. You're going to be watching out for yourself and watching out for the situation that is most important to you. Watching out for those that you care the most about or that which you care the most about. Watching out for those things. So you're going to be on the defensive here as you move forward. So it's very interesting, Aquarius. You're in a creative space. You're in a creative space and you're connecting into something very electric and it could have something to do with energy, right? This tower. I love this tower. It brings change, but it's quite electrifying. And here you are, the Nine of Wands. You know, you're, you're going to be careful about how you connect into this situation. You're going to be very careful about that. 
I'm going to go into this tower and see if there's anything more that we can get here. There's just a change agent here. I don't know what's happening in the planets or what's going on, but there's some sort of like change element um, that's connecting in with Aquarius. Let's look at the Five of Cups. No, not the Five of Cups. We're going into the tower. We're not going to avoid it. So here I did that. See my subconscious wanting just to go here and not wanting to go into the tower. There's that kind of element there, Aquarius. Five of Wands. There's some sort of complexity here. You might believe differently about something. You might have a different way forward. There's a Ten of Wands. Uh oh. Seven of Pentacles. There's something here, Aquarius, for this group of Aquarius people that is a big potential, a big potential, but it's going to bring change. And this change is kind of unknown. Like what it would do, we don't know what would happen if I, if I made this decision. So going deeper into this tower, it's something that it could really be something that's against someone else. There might be a, another group of people here or another person here who really wants it a different way. And they might really want it a different way for their own for their own safety or for their own well-being or for their own agenda. They might want it a different way. And there could be a bunch of people here that want things to happen a certain way. Right. And I think for you, Aquarius, you're also seeing, OK, for me, this needs to happen a certain way. Right. And whatever is going on here, there could be a potential argument or a potential change that comes in here because of something that you're realizing something that you're realizing needs to be different or or you're realizing it has a capacity to bring real betterment in a real better situation like you could really connect to something that could put this at a different level um, and but you i think you're realizing that there's going to be people here or another person here who might very want very much want a different way or a different tool or something. I'm not sure what this is about Aquarius, but it's connecting in to, to Aquarius for sure. And then we have 10 of wands coming. You know, I, I really feel Aquarius, there's something here um, that you're realizing you need to be free of. Something, something that's just has been very weighty, has been very hard. It's It's been very hard. And I think Aquarius, you're not really sure how you're gonna get yourself out of this situation. It's just something that's hard. And the 10 of wands is, it, it's like we go somewhat, we go into it willingly, the 10 of wands, because we have this willingness. We have this desire to make things better. We have a mother's heart or we have a sister's heart or we have a, a an employee that really cares cares about his or her job or his or her uh, obligations in that job, right? There's something and we have a willingness and we have a desire and we have an eagerness even sometimes to do the right thing or to help in some way. And it's our willingness and it's our heartfelt um, abilities that really kind of set, step us in the Ten of Wands. We want to do, we want our partner to be happy, right? We want our boss to be happy with us. We want, we want the people around us to be happy. And how do people get when, what happens to people that make them happy? They enjoy things. They get rewards for things. They experience pleasantness in life. And what happens to the person who isn't happy? They have the work to do. They, that's, you kind of get with the Ten of Wands, you kind of find yourself in that situation. Uh, and, and there's something here about making life better and easier for you, Aquarius, making life better and easier for you. And I think that you're realizing maybe some of the things that you've done in the past that have allowed others to have priority before you. And sure, when it comes to our children and our spouse and those people that are in our home, we can do that. But maybe this has to do with people around us. Maybe it has to do with extended family, or maybe it has to do with our employer encroaching on our time away with our family or something. You know, it's going to be a little different for everyone, but I do think that you're seeing now, uh, some of the, some, where some of the bumps and bruises have been, have been, have been achieved, right? That you've achieved those bumps and bruises, how you achieve those. And, and I think that you're in the process here with the seven of pentacles, really, uh, 
you know, nurturing that part of you, that, that hermit part of you, that's um, really aware and, and really able to handle without being too self-punishing. This is the hermit is really able to see humanity and the human condition. And he or she is, when you're in the hermit energy, you're able to really see that about yourself and others. And when you see it, it's something that brings you a sense of revelry, a sense of achievement, a sense of, okay, now I can really figure this out, right? So I do think it, you feel good knowing and you feel good knowing that there are options here and even though this comes with a tower which is about chaos and upset and redoing things and starting over and all of those like oh those frustration moments i think many of you it's something that happens throughout the month that it comes in and it's like whereas before it might have really caused a disruption for you aquarius i think now with this hermit energy i think you're looking at these changes that are coming in for you and you're looking at them like okay how can we do this in the best way possible um and and i think you're looking at it with a very clinical mind almost like the mind of a doctor or professor looking at a situation i think that you're looking at the situation like that for yourself and you're saying to yourself how do i do this now coming from the mindset of of my inner circle first and then be having a awareness about the outer circles. This is taking care of one's own self, one's own family first. And then when you're feeling okay, you can move out and care for others as well. This is like when you're on an airplane and there's turbulence, what, and you need oxygen, what do they say? Put your own oxygen mask on, on first. If you can't care for your child that's sitting next to you, who will? You must keep strong so that you can care for your children, right? That kind of thing. And then when you're okay and your children are okay, certainly reach out, reach out as fast as possible and help someone else, right? But make sure that you are okay for first before you do that, because that's what they say when, when somebody's in the, in the water and, and they need help, what do you, do you just jump in without thinking or do you, Think first before you jump in and see if there's any inner tubes or any air flotation devices or any ropes or anything that you have there with you to help you. It's really kind of having that way of of foresight um, as you're stepping into change. So I do think there is some sort of um, problem that's here. It's a problem that's here. And I think, Aquarius, that it's going to some time in this month it's going to come up and you are going to probably have to deal with whatever this is and i think you're going to have to stick to your ground and say you know um i'm coming from this position because i've been through this and that right and i and i understand how that feels um but this is something i have experienced and this is something that's important to me and it, it's it is not a you know it's it's something where you're talking in a very balanced way and the decisions you make are very balanced uh, it doesn't get emotional. It doesn't get dramatic. It's just very calm and rational. And you're coming at it from a place of first, um, what's the most, the first priority, The what's the first priority, and then what's the second, and then what's the third. And it's coming at it from a very rational place, understanding truly now what's most important and what do we care for first. Uh, and, and again, this is just a weekly reading. So this is just something that's going to come up. That's kind of going to, you're going to put you in this kind, kind of energy. As you're moving through the last part of the week, you are in the five of cups energy. So um, you are looking at the situation that happened. I think you could be sad and you could be feeling regretful or feeling um, mournful about something or just kind of, it just hits you like it's, why is it so hard? Like, why does this have to, and you might even cry a little bit, might be a, a tear or two or, you know, you might have a little bit of, you know, silent time or something out. We all recover differently from as we lick our, as we lick our wounds, we kind of all recover differently, don't we? And you're going to be um, recovering from something here. And this is going to be connected in with this tower. So whatever it is, it's something that comes in as sort of a, um, it's something that you know is there, but maybe you're just not expecting it to kind of crop up right now. It just kind of comes up. It's kind of electrifying and it kind of zzz, it does that to the energy. It puts it in an escalated space. Um, but it does look like something is revealed here. And what's revealed um, is going to put you in somewhat of a, like a depressed place. It's not, it's just a five cup. It's nothing that's going to take hold for long. I think really it's opening up some sort of um, new improvement for you. Really, I do, Aquarius. I think it's going to help you with some sort of improvement for you. But at the time, I think it really does make you a little bit sad. Like, why does this have to happen? Why do I have to be in this place where I have to think about this again or feel this again? I hate feeling this. Whatever it is, it is this, 
this doom and gloom kind of a space. Um, but then Aquarius, I do feel like there is something here that comes from this that helps you see something so clear. It's something so clear. It's just what the hermit was needing. It's almost like the universe took you through this situation to help you see the truth of something. And it's it's not that the truth is bad. It's the truth. It's what you're looking to find. Um, you're looking to find this clarity and you're looking to understand everything about this. And whatever happens with this little bit of upheaval that we see here in, in the middle of the week. It looks like it's coming in sometime in the middle of the week, but it could be any time. We're just getting into the swirling energies here. So, you know, um, there is something here that you're connecting to, and it could be something that's happened in the past even. If it's something that's happened in the past, you're going to get a flare or some sort of a um, a uh, some sort of an aftershock that's going to remind you of this, right? And if it's not something that's happened in the past, it's just going to be a flare that comes in, it creates upheaval, but in the end, there's something here that you change because, because of it, and it is something that's going to be quite helpful for you because it gives you the two of swords, which is clarity and making a decision about something that you've been working on for a while. So let me go into this two of swords because that's where the victory is going to be. This is going to be the pain of it, but there is going to be a victory here. So let's go into the Two of Swords just really quickly. Two of Swords energy. We have the Knight of Cups flipping over. Two of Swords. King of Wands flipping over. Queen of Wands. Here's the King of Wands flipping over and the Queen of Wands came out. It's something that's going to give you so much confidence, Aquarius. It's going to give you, it's going to allow you to really be a much more confident about you, about how you talk about something, right? How you bring it forward, perhaps how you present it. You're just going to be able to present it or to bring it forward or to communicate about it um, in a very um, confident and contagious kind of way. And I don't mean contagious in a bad way, in a very contagious kind of happiness way. It's going to really help you to shine. And there's something here, and I feel like there's something here that's being pushed to the surface that has been somewhat of a of an issue. And whatever comes to the surface here is going to help you really shine, Aquarius, and really move into a space where you're living your best self. Now, the Queen of Wands, Aquarius, it's not going to be there forever, but it is going to, it's looming here. It's going to put you in a different emotional frequency. See how you have, it's fitting more in with this over here, isn't it? It's fitting more in with who you are. See how it fits in? The colors are just the same here. It's like very same energy. It fits in. Even with the three of pentacles, it, it, three, it fits in. Okay, so there's going to be something that helps you to kind of really radiate out um, who you are in a new way and see all of this energy that you have to kind of push through to get to that spot. Um, this is some sort of elevation in the in the energy body there's some work that's happening now of course in the energy body you're probably dropping away some of the of the um more dense emotional space that you were were able to kind of clear away from i think that there's something happening in the energy body and in order to do that there's some sort of emotion that you feel to kind of purge that emotion out and these are things that, that are the universe have have us move through so that we can feel that very specific kind of emotion so it can be purged out because you have something new here already that's there and that can replace it. Um, let's look at the seven of swords, seven of swords energy, seven of swords energy, eight of pentacles. It's something that you're um, really focused on and you're willing, you're really willing to work on it. Um, and, it, and so this seven of swords, these changes that you make because of some sort of hardship that you've been through, understanding the shadow among people, understanding, understanding hidden intentions, um, hidden motivations that people can have, um, this, these changes that are, you're making for many of you is, is about, they're about something that you've been working on and it looks, and it seems like it could maybe even help you focus something that you're doing that will really help you focus. Maybe it's to bring more quiet time. Uh, maybe it's, it's something that you can do that really helps you focus in exactly on what's needed to be done. There's something here that helps you to focus in on what truly is important. 
I still want to go into the tower just one more time here. Hanged man. You're going to have to wait for it. Okay, fine. Let's see if anything else comes out. <laughs> I think we're just going to have to wait for it. It's going to be different for everyone. Oh, uh, let's see. Ace of Wands. It's going to put you into motion. It's going to stir your fire. It's going to it's going to build your flame. That that's what it's going to do. Um, and see how this energy. It's going to change the frequency. That's what we're doing here. Changing the up leveling into a new frequency, into a healthier place. And to do that, this blue stuff has to go. This blue stuff connects in with resistance, putting on our inner braking system so that we can, uh, because we're afraid of something, um, ultimately, that's my take on it anyway. And this is a whole new frequency that you're connecting into. So uh, that's pr pretty exciting and curious. All right, my friends, that is it for Aquarius. Um, thank you all for being here. For those of you headed back to YouTube, thank you. Thank you very much for listening um, all the way through. Um, thank you. And also for those of you that are moving forward into the extended, I will see you over on the other side. All right. Thank you.